Welcome everybody to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is ReZero episode 11. What happened last time? Uh, last time Subaru almost died and then got told that he would die. So Rem decided she was going to go and hunt down all of those, do what are they called? Mob beasts. M hunt down all of the mob beasts by herself in a demonic rage. Mm -hmm. Then Subaru and Rem, uh, Rom tried to go and find Rem. They found her. She was out of control. She was flying around. Uh, Subaru threw Rem through the air and then was launched into the air by the ground like going <laughs> expert description <laughs> by the ground like exploding and then he the final shot was of him coming down with the sharpest sword in the <laughs> town straight towards rem and Rom as um, well. The sharpest sword in the village. Okay, I'm sorry. The sharpest town in the village. Maybe I should do the recaps from now on if you're going to get so many details flagrantly wrong. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ReZero. Hope you check out our previous one if you haven't already. And uh, we hope you like the video because it really helps us out. And we hope you stick around for the next one. But we're just going to get right into this episode of ReZero. Episode 11. Let's change the episode and then go. Starting off not to creepy at all. A flashback. Yep. Enough, Purity. We must dispose of them. Okay, psycho. Such what the fuck? It is our law. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. children is what? <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, she's like making it she rain. Prodigy, such power with only one horn. Imagine what she could do if she'd been born with two. Okay, you'll have to follow your sister's example and work hard. No, don't you worry. One day soon, Rem will show us that she has incredible power. I have no doubt. She's Rome's sister, so I'm sure it'll come with time. Of course it will. Hmm? <laughs> You're gonna cry, Ari. <laughs> Don't worry. So see, I just be yourself, Rem. There's no reason for you to worry about what other people say. I'm not even crying! <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm not even lie. Oh. I can never match my sister in demon power. Then, hey, mom? Has the dead hey, mom hairstyle. <laughs> I've decided that I'm gonna make dinner tomorrow. So she Don't just gets so good at domestic <laughs> chores. Now I just need a Barbara rabbit. Oh my god! Sissy! I was worried, so I'm really glad you're both alright. She said both. Listen, don't go into the forest alone again, okay, Rem? You don't want to worry your sister now, do you? No, you're right, I won't. Wait! Let's not forget about this. The same potatoes Ram went through so much trouble to make turned out really good. Just taste them. And they have just the right amount of salt, too. Yeah, you're right. They are good. <laughs> I had no idea Ram could make something so delicious. <sighs> okay, that's enough, Ram. In the end, I'm really just glad both of you are all right. Yes, we're so glad you're safe. No, would have been much better if it had only been wrong. That's right. Good point. If only that useless Rem had died. Leaving Rom as our only surviving daughter, that would have been best. <laughs> I'm so sad. You'll never have to worry about anything with me around, alright? I have different colored pillows. <laughs> different color everything. Sissy? Oh, 
Oh my god. <sighs> Because of me, my sister's horn was broken, and she lost her power. From now on, I have to learn to do all the things that Sissy, that Sister could do. I'm only imitating what Sister could do. If I can't even do that satisfactorily, then I'm worthless. You're doing an excellent job. I heard those words back home so many times. I'm nothing more than a mediocre replacement, and that's all I'll ever be. You got that? I'm running just as fast as I can here. Hey, you're finally awake. The opening. <laughs> Super is surrounded. He's not going to. Don't look back, Rem, or Barusu's determination will be for nothing. How does the opening fit so well? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, they put one of those fruits that restore your mana in his pocket. Nice one. Is there like a seal on that thing? The fuck? As you can see, um, of course, I haven't actually heard the details about how she lost her horn in the first place, and I won't ask, so I'll never know. Since I don't, that means I get to talk as if I know all about it. Listen carefully. All you have to do is be the horn Rom doesn't have. If you do that, you two can be a demon together. Also, <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> 
no one could ever take your place. Bye, Daddy. Let's talk about things while we look forward to making up for all the time you've wasted by looking back. We can start by talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep, absolutely. You can say anything. Like, uh... Whether you'll make a Japanese Western or local style breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> or whether you'll put on your right or left shoe for me. It can be something silly like that. No matter how it might sound, you can talk about tomorrow because you have a tomorrow. I've been very weak, so I'm certain that I'll end up depending and leaning on you. Well, what's wrong with that? I may be weak, stupid, and scary looking. And as I'm sure you've noticed, I'm pretty dense. But I never let that stop me. I still live my life expecting others to take care of things for me when I can't handle it. We can just lean on each other as we move forward. Let's laugh and talk about tomorrow with our arms around each other's shoulders. After all, I've dreamed of laughing and talking about next year with the demons since I can remember. You are demonically inspired. <laughs> you know it. you happen to find the one who was controlling the ma beasts? Yes, but the trail has already vanished. Come here. Now then, shall we begin? After all, I was unable to attend to you for a whole night. Yes, I realize that. I'm sorry. Please do. You've used quite a lot of mana. May the stars protect you. I will be busy again for a time. I know it will be difficult for you. But I'll be counting on you and Ram. As you wish. Since that fiery night, my body has belonged to you, Lord Roswell. This battle for the throne, I must win no matter what it takes to do for the sake of my ultimate goal. For the coming day when I kill the dragon. Hey, give me a break. It's not like I get hurt because I want to. The world's a pretty harsh place, but I think it's a little uh, harsher on me. Uh, with that in mind, you're welcome to spoil me rotten since no one else will be me. What do you say? brought you to the mansion as thanks for rescuing me, and you've gone and repeated that favor without a second thought. So I just wanted to say, thank you. Hey, it's fine, really. I only did it because I wanted to. I should do something to show my gratitude. I see. Well, I'll take you up on that by having you go on a date with me, Neely. Then what is a date? <laughs> we'll go out together, see the same things, eat the same things, do the same things, and share the same memories. We'll spend our time just laughing and having fun. And that's really all you want? That's exactly what I want. I want to show you off to those bratty village kids. And there's this awesome flower field to walk through, too. It'll be a special occasion for me. EMF. I actually have no idea. So, crazy episode of ReZero. Rem! The major motion picture. Okay. So, Rem still has her horn, like I thought. Yep. We didn't get it cut off. Just hit it. S Subaru once again used the sharpest sword in the village <laughs> to pretty much know... Uh, I mean, he saved his own life. He saved his own life. And the life of his comrades. Okay, I mean, I guess it did some damage, but considering he broke it in half, he couldn't deal any real fatal blows. True. Uh, but I that mean, was... what, what? Not even the sharpest sword in the village could have fucked with that giant mob beast. I don't think. I guess, maybe. I don't know, I was thinking, like, maybe he could have stabbed it. Like, when he stabbed it in the neck, he could have done more damage if it was longer. I think it's just because he's weak as fuck. Oh. Okay. Well, he fought... The giant mob beast. The little dog turned into, like, this extra, extra large mob beast mm -hmm. was attacking him. By the way, I just noticed you're wearing, like, teal and I'm wearing red. It's kind of like we're Rem and Rom. Oh, nice. You should wear pink next time. I think you're definitely more like Rem. And yeah. I'm definitely more like Rom, for sure. I think as well. You should wear pink next time. Uh. You should? Yeah, I should. <laughs> I don't think either of us have anything that's pink. Back to the story. Rem was... Fr Rom was carrying Rem away, and then Rem was like, 
oh no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do something. But then Roswell showed up and just dropped bombs everywhere, basically, which is like full <laughs> on fighter jet. <sighs> Completely That's pretty insane. crazy. And that, so, like, that was pretty crazy, and he, and then, uh, Subaru and Rem had that nice heart-to-heart where she's just like, oh, I'm still not as good as Rom, blah, 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 and he was just like, laugh, and he told her to laugh, like, four times, and I'm like, you stop telling her to laugh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I get what you're going for, but sometimes, sometimes your cheerful optimism is just a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. But it had a good effect. She was happy. And then we got a scene at the end, which is, I think, the most interesting part of the episode, in my opinion, was uh, Roswell gets back and he's like, it's him and Rom in his, like, creaky moonlit study once again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... Let, let me tend to you or something and then she lays in his lap and he like he puts some i think he funnels his mana in there yeah probably because she can't produce it on her own she can't i mean I, that's i'm i'm just assuming that she can't because mm-hmm. that's where all their power comes from and she used a shitload of her own power and now mm-hmm. she's all fucking weak and apparently he wants to kill the dragon yeah he wants to reason. kill the dragon the dragon is the one who imprisoned the witch of envy isn't isn't that how it went it was like a dragon and those and a four hero th- and a sage. A dragon and like four other dudes. Yeah. Or th- three, three or I four other dudes. I think it was a dragon, dudes. a hero, and a sage sealed the Witch of Envy. Yeah. So interesting to note that he wants to kill the dragon, which is like a go- the god of their world. But yeah. Like a, or like a, a messianic figure. I'm feeling I'm get I was getting the vibe that like if anything happened to the dragon, the witch of envy would potentially be able to break free or gain power or do something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just seems like okay, she got sealed away. Probably the hero and the sage or whatever are probably dead at this point. I I think it's been a while. I honestly they might they might not be dead. I don't know, but the dragon's still alive, and a dragon is a pretty formidable (laughs) adversary. (laughs) Yeah, and it seems like because it teamed up, it's more of like a Lord of the Rings dragon rather than a Game of Thrones dragon. It It, seems more like it has intellect, like or like a D and D dragon where it's like a person but in the form of a dragon a super powerful like perfect being mm-hmm. type thing a very wise old creature yeah so it's interesting that roswell wants to kill the dragon mm-hmm. um but then you'd think if that was sort of his like plan and if that would somehow affect the witch doing whatever, then you'd think that Rem would not really want to go along with that because she doesn't like the witch or whatever. I, there's a lot going on right now. Do you have a theory that you're going off of or are you just spitballing uh, random stuff? I'm, I'm just sort of talking out loud, thinking out loud. But it's just interesting that that's his goal, and I'm not sure why. Mm-hmm. And Rem is just like ever since that day. That's Rom. Uh, I okay. <laughs> Rom is like ever since that day of the fire. My body is yours, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of. Did kinda... she say her body? I think so. I don't think Watch she said again. my body is your I feel like you're projecting a whole lot onto this Watch it. Watch right, it again. Watch it again. Full volume. Able to attempt you for a whole night. Yes, I realize that. I'm sorry. Please do. You've used quite a lot of mana. Since that fiery night, my body has belonged to you. Okay, so she literally said <laughs> <Yeah>. her body. <laughs> uh, which is weird. And I think in that flashback, he was, like, he, like, was holding her, right? I couldn't tell if that was... Hang on. I couldn't tell if that was him, but it makes sense because I think he, he like, is carrying her out of there. Looks like it might be him. Those look like his hands. I can't tell. Who do you think attacked their fucking village? I was thinking, like, the witch's cult. Mm. Because she was, like, 
talking about the witch's cult and they looked like a cult. They looked like some f- some fat ass cultists. Yeah. Uh this reminded me a lot of Okay, there's two things that this reminded me of. The first one is Tower of God Ho, ho if you've seen Tower of God, if you're up to date, Ho's whole people were getting harvested for their horns. And they were also ogres. And they were also ogres. And they were getting attacked by these weird, ogre I guess, kind of creatures. <laughs> what they were getting we attacked would by call Shrek. an ogre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting. Mm-hmm. And not necessarily that the circumstances line up, but it's just a kind of an interesting thing. And also, this reminded me. Somehow of Angel Beats, but now I'm... How the fuck does it remind you of Angel Beats? <laughs> I was thinking about it. I wish I had written it down. It was like... It was what like... reminds you of it? A... Talk. I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, oh, shit. Yes, Rem thinking that I'm a replacement for my sister. I have oh, to true. do I everything. Was this, I was thinking I w- the same thing. Yeah. It's like Ayato... Yeah, and how he was like, in Angel Beats, it's super old, but spoilers for Angel Beats, uh, we have a reaction to it on our channel. Sh- Ayato. Now we. Uh, yeah, the, the guy who has the little hat, he was the replacement student council guy, and he was kind of annoying, but he, his brother died, and then- We don't need to explain the whole, uh, people who've seen it know what okay. we're talking about, we don't need to explain the whole thing. But it was the same thing of twins, and then one of them gets either killed or incapacitated, and they can no- they're no longer the gifted child, so then the other one feels as though they have to fill that void. Yeah. In that one, in Angel Beats, it was more like, I have to do this for my parents, but for this, Rem and Rom are- seems to be the only surviving members- of if not their family, their entire race. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a bit different. I think she I, it's kind of for herself because she feels guilty about being happy that Rem, yeah. uh, Rom lost her horn. That was crazy when she like smiled as soon as it got cut off, kind of fucked up. And it's the kind of shit that just stuck with her. She was just disgusted with herself for years, probably until this moment, if not after. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of A- uh, Angel Beats. <laughs> this episode of ReZero. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and check out our previous videos. And stay tuned for the next episode. It should be coming out soon. We're going to move right on to that. See you guys in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay.